when was the the time where you just you know the Jeremy Rogers thing yeah, ten yeah. thousand that was early on, yeah. and then it, was there a point in time where um you actually made a living and everything started fucking just falling into place? Yeah, I, yeah. A lot of people ask um you know turning point type yeah, questions. Like, can you pinpoint? It, it, it was I've been doing it full time for since twenty early twenty fifteen. 2015. So, or 20, end of 2014. So, you know, uh, four years. Yeah, yeah. Four or five years. Four, four or five years. And, and we've had, you know, I have a small group of dudes too. I have like mm -hmm. Nick, Alexis, uh, Christian, and they all help. And some are part time. Uh, Alexis is full time. And we have Raspa, the filmer, and all mm -hmm. these other dudes. And it's a pretty big gang now for what, how we operate in the space mm -hmm. and for media in general. Uh, and, I think the turning point was probably the first three advertisers, probably when we got a shoe advertiser. Mm. Like when you when you start adding up those three advertisers and then the shoe, it was like, okay, even if it was two or three grand a month and you did hide side hustles, it's kind of enough for full time, yep. you know? Mm. Um, trying to think, Lakai, it might have been whatever it was either converse or adidas one mm, of the two okay. i think it was converse yeah. though well, let me ask you this you you were saying it before you know that you the clickable ads mm -hmm. the banners mm -hmm. right and back then maybe it was a more efficient way of advertising and right. now are you is there a drop in there? do you have to like reinvent like yeah. how you're advertising it's, it's changed. and how media's changed and that was kind of the fun part yeah, too no one really clicks on the banner ads anymore. yeah i mean yeah. it's and like pre-rolls pre and videos you, yeah. know, right. you go to the you gotta watch the pre-roll it's like how many too. people click on that like yeah. what, was, what, what's but, going on so that's so that's changed from just like media in general like sure. not just skateboarding yeah. that's and the cool thing was like i remember um i went on a trip and it was like a media trip like you know, they sometimes you go on a trip and they bring one photographer from Transworld, Thrasher, Jenkin, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. And someone from another company, uh, media company, was like, so what are you guys doing about this trip? And I'm like, I don't know, nothing. Like, I didn't even know really why I was there yet. Yeah. And he's like, nothing? And because this company had just invited us to check out the skate park and the new shoe. And I'm mm -hmm. like, yeah, what am I going to write about this shoe? And like, you we're skating it. We're not great skaters. Like, we're just normal dudes talking about it uh -huh. and he's like oh yeah and he's like well people are watching what you're doing because you're kind of leading the way of like redefining whatever is expected sure because for so you're whatever you're doing is working to you're trying to figure it all out and i'm trying <laughs> and, I go, and i go i'm doing nothing yeah. and so i did nothing yeah. and i think it shot me in the foot later down oh is it? yeah it might have i mean i think they were just like hey we spent that money to like bring you out there like and you didn't do shit you didn't do shit and i was like oh i didn't know it was supposed to like you didn't ask me yeah but it was kind of like they brought me on kind of pushing me that direction mm -hmm. but i didn't understand Hoping you would i didn't understand the hope and the push is like you still got to give them flowers you know yeah you know? <laughs> sure <laughs> like, sure like it doesn't they, it's not they bought no, you dinner they want something yeah, in return you gotta no give them a little kiss at the yeah, end yeah, right? exactly right so um, oh interesting <laughs> So you just got to kind of navigate and just every, you just, oh yeah. So going twists back to and question, turns. Yeah. Is, yeah. So everyone was making things up, but, um, banner ads also were never like, we need clicks. It's not about clicks. It's about associations with the companies and getting, you know, that's if someone's going and seeing it repetitively, it brand makes an impact. Yes. Coca-Cola. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I'm thirsty. Um, I'm going to go get a Coke. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, then, uh, but I think a lot of skate companies, and I could be totally wrong, but I think yeah. a lot of skate companies don't realize that they want the ROI. They want the right. clicks on their website. They want, but you have other companies in the real world, Casper mattresses, yeah. they built their business yeah, yeah. on, on just podcasts and word right. of mouth and right. just having it ingrained in people's heads. I need a bed. Oh, Casper mattress. Right. Yeah. But they had the benefit of budgets to explore that. This is true. Yeah. And that's this is the true. problem with the skate brands is they're like, I get it. Okay. You got a thousand bucks. For marketing so you need to see it pretty quick yeah, yeah. And otherwise you're not doing that again but see, they need to be patient yeah i agree too they yeah. need to be yeah it, it's ingraining it in people's heads yeah. Yeah. just one time isn't yeah. going to do much no it's right? not and that's that was we a did a read thing. for a skate brand yeah and they really didn't see anything happen and what do you mean by a read just so podcast. just so other like a podcast like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Podcast like a us talking about it and like oh we didn't see anything in return like yeah give it time. Yeah, it's like yeah, we did totally. one, like, right. you know, and it happens all the time. And it, I mean, I'm sure yeah. with you, you know, it's like, uh, I don't know, skate companies are, it's a different breed, mm -hmm. right? When you're trying to deal with uh, advertising in the landscape right, we're in right now. Yeah. I don't I, know. Some, some people were super support. Like people have to understand it's a long game. Yeah. And a lot of people did like Jim, Jim is super forward thinking, you know, mm -hmm. Jim yeah. Thibault right. from Deluxe. And 
he was like, hey, I get it. Like, we got your back. He's always like, what can I do to help? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's always, what can I do to help? But also, it's not, the banners are kind of the icing on the cake, right? That's kind of just to show that we support each other. But then it's like, okay, now we're going to, we can funnel content through you when it makes sense for us. Mm -hmm. We can work on something when it makes sense. It's kind of like the starting bridge. Right. And so a lot of that stuff then became like, hey, we're doing a shoe next month with so-and-so. Like, what can you do? And I'd be like, hey, we can do these 10 things. And they'd be like, okay, well let's throw you some more budget and let's do that. And then it grows that way. And then if you do a good job on the video, then they're like, well, let's do that every time a new shoe comes out. And next thing you know, you're part of their team to get the word out. And all of a sudden you're part of their schedule. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Right. So it's like, it was doing a good job after the banners were kind of like just to start. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Hmm. Um, are you you guys too, like now are you, our guests, um, like for instance, you had like what three or four toy machine guests? Mm-hmm. I yeah. assume like someone chipped in for that, or we did a Volcom thing. Oh, okay, so okay. Volcom, yeah. and then they just r- happened to write for toy machine. The toy machine video was coming out, so right. it, it everything out worked out perfectly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You but know? it wasn't just by chance. It was like, hey, we had a brand that kind of helped foster right. that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, it, right, and it's and it's something that hey, we're gonna have these guys on the show anyway. Yeah. Right, you know, so yeah. it might as well work together. Well, that's what's funny about this stuff too, because at some point you want to have them because it's current, mm-hmm. and then the other point, if the brand's down to work with you on it even better. Better. Right. But the the messaging can get blurred. So some people, you'll never, in a lot of stuff, like on a thrash, let's say I opened a thrasher back in the day, right? Mm-hmm. And there'd be um, a plan B ad and then there'd be a Sheckler interview. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You didn't really know, is that just because the plan B video just came out and Sheckler's super current? Or did plan B give him a bunch of money and say, you got to interview him because we have a video? It's also a plan Like it's like chicken or the egg kind of thing. That's right. It's how a lot of covers I feel like happened too. Yeah. yeah. A lot of covers. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of the barracks got super, like in the beginning, the barracks was cool because it was like, this is the behind the scenes of all these guys. Right. And then it became like, we have segments. And you're like, that's cool because it's consistent, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then it became like, well, these segments have these guys that I don't really care about. It all ends up with someone's marketing plan. And then it became a whole, everything you looked at was just like a, you know, behind the lens with this person. And it's like, I don't, I know this is for some other company. Yeah. Yeah, And I just, you start tuning it out. Yeah. Like Mm -hmm. Instagram too. It's like, it's all marketing now. So you're like, it used to be like a fart joke and like, Hey, this is my cat. And then now it's just like, here's my new part. (laughs) And it's like, Oh fuck you. Right. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Gary V would always say marketers ruin everything. Yeah. 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 And I'm, I'm with that. I'm like, I don't think anyone goes on Instagram now these days and enjoys it. Like really, you don't watch go on Instagram like it would be like a TV show. Yeah. You do it because you're just like chained to it. You're like, well, what? I have five minutes. What else am I gonna do? Yeah, yeah. And, and sometimes was, you come across something that you really want to see. It's <laughs> like I just I just did it too with my yeah. skaters and cars just came out, you yeah. know. And I was like, I I enjoyed it. I thought right. it was a good piece, and it right. was I thought it was funny, and I was posting stuff. Mm-hmm. So I'm I was literally marketing this video. Yeah. But um, and I don't really do that too much, you know. So f- for me to do that was uh. If you're well, psyched, you're pr- you're proud it, it was easy. Yeah, it was, yeah. it was, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I always say this about Kelly, you know, mm-hmm. he's posting his, his shoes and his this and that, but, what he but, loves. but it, you could tell it's genuine. I'm you know, proud of all it's that. Not that's, that's something very Kelly too. Right. Yeah. Like he almost gets a pass. Yes. Yeah, he's what, also drinking milk. Well, that's what I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's what I'm drinking yet. Uh, well, I haven't been looking over there. Dude. You're on your own fucking island. But that's what I'm saying though. I feel like I'm here with you. With some people, it's very easy to tell. Oh. Yeah, whatever. But with yeah. other people, it's like that's their passion, that's right. their shit. Yeah, you know, right. they love that. They want and that to put can it out there. that can also hurt them too. I've, we all know some skaters where you're like, damn, I like that dude, and now like yeah, sometimes they're right. sometimes he's spamming me with like vegan cheese. I'm like, come on, <laughs> yeah, dude, sure. vegan cheese. Yeah. Right. It was it so is. weird when social media came out because you're like, dude, why are you people that would post about themselves would look like kooks? Yeah. Right. And you're like, why? I'm like, dude, if you're following me, what else do you want to see? Mm-hmm. Like, you yeah. want to see stuff that I that you're wanting to see me do. That I'm known for, yeah. right? It's tricky because sometimes I'll see I'm I'm such a fan of a celebrity, mm-hmm. and then I follow them on Instagram, and then I see their stories, and I'm like, this celebrity's whack. Mm-hmm. Like I, I I wish I never saw mm-hmm. their true side. You know, it's a double edged sword, right? Yeah. Sometimes it, it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, and it's hard to do it. And yeah, I mean, I mean, whatever. I'm just not the guy to put my shit out there like that. Yeah, I, I just I don't and care. I think it sucks, kind of in the the world we're in now it's like the people that are more humble and quiet unfortunately i think get the short end of the stick yeah and yeah. you'd like to be able to reward that behavior and be like hey we're on the same boat we're all trying our best your stuff's good but we don't have to shove it down someone's throat right you know? right and the people that are like louder and more like i'm special i'm the fucking shit sometimes they they one up other people you know like i just saw socrates the the filmer mm-hmm. you know the dwindle filmer yeah. i'm like 
he was like, yeah, I've been applying for jobs. You know, he's filmed some of the most prolific skateboarding Unbelievable. stuff. Unbelievable. We had him on the show. Yeah, and he was here. He's Incredible. now working in like a warehouse. Yeah. Like, and putting together like parts. And he, and he was like, you know, I don't know about his background resume, whatever, whatever, but he should not have to do something like that. True. Like he And he was, I interviewed him for another piece we're working on, and mm-hmm. he's so humble about it. I was like, damn it. If you sold yourself a little more, I think it would help. You right. Know? Where, because I asked him, I was doing a piece to, on the courthouse, mm-hmm. and I was like, so how does it feel to have, you know, done all these tricks there? It's so epic. And he's just like, I don't really think about it. Like, it's chill. I'm like, dude, fucking sell me on it, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you filmed all these tricks there that started uh, one of the most important, important skate spots in the world. You That's know? true. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I'd like to see. He's a part of history. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes, you know, and, and I like people that are modest, but it, sometimes it, it hurts you. 